Hey friends, welcome back to Live Free and Tool, and today we are taking a look at two of the most widely available stick vacs on the market. This is the Rio, the HP Brushless Stick Vac from Home Depot, and this is the Heart Brushless Stick Vac from Walmart. Now those are the two largest retailers in the United States, so you're going to see these everywhere. And if you're going to see these everywhere, you probably want to know the difference between the two and if they're actually going to do the job. So today we're going to put these through the ringer. We're going to do some heavy testing. We're going to talk about all of the specs. We're going to talk about all of their amenities and all the accessories that come with them as well. So hang on, everybody. This is going to be really fun. So the interesting thing about both of these stick vacs is that they're made by the same company. Now this is Hart and this is Ryobi, but they're both owned by TTI. And they're both headquarters in the same building in Anderson, South Carolina. And if you look at both of these, you're going to think, wow, they have a lot of the same similarities. And if you're a tool freak, you're going to look at these and say, hmm, they're the same stick back, but they have different colors. But that's where you would be wrong. Fundamentally and by design, these are both very different stick backs. Let's take a look at some of those. So this right here, this is a male. And on the Ryobi, it's a female. And this end is a male and this is a female. Now what that allows you to do on the Ryobi is that this is used as a nozzle, that is a nozzle, and if you take this off, there's no nozzle there, and there's no nozzle on this one either. So right off the bat, inherent in the design, you get some extra fittings with Ryobi. So point, Ryobi. A couple of the other things design-wise on this is that if you look at the head, the rollers are back here on this one, and the rollers are up here on this one. Now, some people will think, ah, eh, that's not a big deal, but my wife has been using both of these stick backs and she's been giving me some very good notes. She does most of the cleaning, so why not ask her opinion? Whenever you're vacuuming with this, this is going to suck to the floor and that's gonna create more of a seal right here. Now, you do have an opening, a small opening, but it isn't lifted off the ground, so it's actually gonna push things away. Whereas with the wheels right here, that creates an opening so things can slide up underneath and then suck up inside of the vacuum. So there's another point for Ryobi. Now they do have some similarities. This is a keyless removal. So all you gotta do is turn that and you can pull the brushes out and you can put them back in. Now, if you look at the brushes, they actually have the same brushes on each one as well. You have medium and soft brush right there and then you have a harder brush. Now that is meant for your multi-floor. You can do hard floors or you can do carpets or rugs, which that is a very smart thing to do. Now this is so easy just to put back in place. You can set that back down. Now, a couple of the other things, as soon as you open the box with the heart, you get a lot of accessories. This is a nice swivel head brush accessory. This is a very interesting crevice tool, which is awesome because it has a whole bunch of little I guess straws that go up in there and you can get into some weird angles in different places and vents in order to clean out. You have your crevice tool. This is a classic crevice tool. And then this one, I like this one. So this is another brushed tool. But then if you look, this is more of like a lint remover as well. It's got a, a nice kind of, um, I don't know, fabric lint remover on there, but this connects right over top of it to keep it safe. So you can use it for either one. So that's great for couches and things like that. So you have all of the, you have four different accessories that comes with this. This, both of these, they come with the same style batteries. So these are both lithium ion four amp hour batteries. Both of these have brushless motors, but if you look, the design again is fundamentally different. This is a vertical center weight a vacuum. This is a horizontal offset weight vacuum. The big difference there, my wife made a really good point, is that if you hold them just like this and you shake them, this balance point, the buoyancy point on this is very smooth. This one, it kind of weights and it's not as smooth. Therefore, it makes it a little bit harder to use and uncomfortable if you're using it for a long time, which if you're vacuuming house, that is going to be a long time. Now for the Ryobi, you get two attachments right here. This is a swivel head brush, and then you get a crevice tool. And I gotta say that the finish on these tools are not even close to as good as the finish on the heart tools. So you can see this has more of that industrial power 
I guess, uh, accessory and finish on these, where this is a more polished homeowner type of um, uh, finish on these. So they have two different levels. So you have your first high level, then you have your eco, which that's going to get your full run time. And then you have your beater bar uh, control down at the bottom so you can control if the beater comes on or off. Now, if you have this on eco mode, this one's going to run right around 60 minutes, and this one's going to run right around 45 minutes on eco mode. They both have a lot of the same attributes. This one's going to cost you $200 from the good old Walmart with all of these accessories, including a battery and a charger. This one's going to cost you $250 with the accessories shown, the 4 amp hour battery, and a charger as well. Now, I did check the charging. It takes a couple hours to charge. The great thing about this, since they both come from tool companies, is that they have the removable batteries. Now, some people will take a look at that and say, well, that's just an annoyance, but consider this. Whenever you use a stick vac, you are going to use multiple batteries. I guarantee you, by having multiple batteries on hand, so if you have one charging, you can switch them out and continue the job. With Dyson, you're going to have to stop, go recharge it, and then come back, for which point you lose a lot of efficiency there and you don't want to do that. So you want to keep moving, you want to keep working. Now, as you did notice, these are both quiet as well. I did a full review on this one with my wife and she went over some of the great details on it. So click down below and you're going to see that. Now, these are all the accessories and everything that you see. The build quality is great on both of them. Now, here's the specifications for both side by side. The one big difference whenever you look at the specifications is that the Ryobi, this is an HP motor. This has got a lot of power coming out of it. And this is a brushless motor as well, but it's not an HP motor. They don't have the same technology and heart. So you're going to get a little bit better performance out of the Ryobi. Now let's talk about some of the torture tests that we need to put these through. All right, so for the difficult test, this is a coffee can full of dirt, hair, um, bark, pellets, heating pellets, it's got Cheerios, all the stuff you don't want to have in your house. And we're going to see how these vacuums do. I'm just going to spread it out. So we're going to do it as even as possible, and you're going to see on each side, we're just going to do five runs of each side on the hardwood, and then on the carpet, and then you're going to see how well it can actually do. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. It looks like on the hardwood floor, on the right side, the Ryobi, and the left side, the heart, they did okay. They did just about the same. As we get to the carpet, we're going to see a bit of a difference over here. So, you can see in the carpet, the Ryobi, it did actually really well with everything that it had to contend with. The heart, it did okay, but there is still some things and still like sawdust and some dirt in the carpet so it looked like it didn't have as much suction as it was agitated by the beater bar and as we can go down the line you can just see there's a pretty big difference here between the heart and the Ryobi. Alright friends so I think we have a result that was a pretty telling demonstration and pretty telling test that we did. The one thing that was pointed out uh, that my wife wanted everyone to know is that the mobility on the head of this one as you're vacuuming, it really wasn't that good and it stuck to the floor, I think because of the wheel placement on the bottom of it. 
the Ryobi, it looks like it's a little bit bigger. It actually had better mobility as it's going under the tables. Um, and the suction and actual performance of the vacuums, which is huge, that's going to go to Ryobi. It vacuumed to suck things up a lot better than the Heart did. Not saying Heart's bad, it's just Ryobi is a really good machine. Something that I found was very interesting with the Heart is that where the canister is on its side here, it actually sucks in dirt right where the canister sits. So it collects dirt at the inlet, so it really prevents it from getting that really good suction that you would want to have in a vacuum just because it's collecting the dirt in the same place and it doesn't distribute it. On the Ryobi, it actually sucks it in at the top and um, down here is where it collects down at the bottom. So if it's being sucked in up here and it's dropping, that's going to allow the machine to perform that much better and I thought that that was a great design. So there are some improvements that Hart can do to get to a better performance level like Ryobi. Now, the performance is good. The accessories, I think Hart's got the accessories. Those accessories are really nice. They install and deinstall really well into this machine. So there is one huge problem between these two. The Ryobi stands up on its own and it locks in place. The Hart does not stand on its own. No matter how many times that I actually tried, it just kept falling. So you have two options. You're gonna lay it on something, lean it on something, or lay it on the ground. So it's either have the potential to fall off something or you're gonna step on it or become a tripping hazard. To me, that's really inconvenient and that's what I do not like about canister vacuums like the Dyson with the hose and you gotta pull it. I really do not like those vacuums because they just lay across the floor all the time. And that's what I want to avoid. When I think of a stick back, it's gotta stand up on its own and you just put it in a corner and you're good to go. With the heart, it just doesn't do that the way that the Ryobi does. And the performance on the Ryobi just really put it over top. Now, for the price, the Ryobi is $50 more. Do I think it's worth $50 more? Absolutely. And talking with my wife on the mobility, um, how it can stationary or at least autonomously stand on its own, the performance, just the natural nature of vacuuming with it is so much easier. All day long, it's worth $50 more. So everybody, I hope that this gave you a little bit of clarity if you're looking to buy a stick back because these are very widely available, being that they're at the two largest retailers in America. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video and it helped you. If it did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you would, please share the video as well. I really appreciate that. And until next time, take care, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. God bless.